never we've never seen a candidate with this size of lead in the summertime being portrayed as kind of, as I say in my piece, Chauncey the gardener from being there, right? <laughs> she just kind of stumbled into this historic uh, a moment. She lucked into running against Donald Trump. She doesn't even know what's going on around her. She's just kind of sleepwalking through history. No, that's not what's going on. But look, we've never had, we've certainly never had a candidate before with this big a lead in the summer and lots of members of the press trying to explain why it won't be a big deal, why she's just lucky she's in the right place, why she won't have a mandate. Now, is it coincidental we've never seen this before and she's the first woman candidate? If the, uh, My hunch is... You're saying you can't luck into being a senator, secretary of state, and president of the United States? Is that your... My hunch is if there was a male <laughs> candidate up 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 points... Right. The media chatter would not be how phony and fake and awful candidate that person is. The, the media chatter would be that person's a natural, that person's a well, genius. Look, as you, right. as you just pointed out, George Bush lost the popular vote. And what was the media narrative? He's a natural. People love yeah. him. People want to have a beer have with him. With he has a mandate. He has political capital. He has a mandate. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, a, slight, a slight double standard. 